Hi, this is Sandeep Jali and Manos Perlakis presenting case 190 for the Manual of Percutaneous Coronary Interventions. This is a case of an anomalous circumflex that had a highly tortuous origin as well as heavy calcification. The patient was a 69-year-old gentleman with multiple comorbidities who came with non-ST elevation myocardial infarction. He had an anomalous circumflex in a diffusely diseased, heavily calcified right coronary artery with failed PCI. He continued to have symptoms and was sent for a repeat attempt. And this is the coronary CT and geography, the MIP, or maximum intensity projection, that demonstrates the heavy calcification of the right coronary artery as well as the left system, and also shows the anomalous circumflex that is having a retroaortic course. And this is the coronary angiogram. We do have the anomalous circumflex arising from the proximal segment of the right coronary artery. We have significant disease around the origin of the circumflex, but also we have disease further down in the right coronary artery. So the issue was how to get into the circumflex that had a fairly angulated origin. We tried uh, with uh, various wires, including workhorse wires, as well as a Sion Black. We tried with a single lumen, as well as a dual lumen, Sasuke microcatheter, but we were unable to actually get the wire to go into the circumflex. So what to do? There are multiple solutions. Try different wires. Try an angulated microcatheter. Try the reversed guide wire technique, or try the deflection balloon technique. In this uh, case, we did try the reversed guide wire. This is a Sion Black that is uh, bent, and we are advancing it distally, pulling it back. But unfortunately, we could not make the tip engage into the anomalous circumflex. So we tried then with uh, an angulated microcatheter. This is the Venture, which uh, provides a very strong support. And using that, as, as well as a Sion Black wire, we were able to advance the wire into the circumflex. Unfortunately, this catheter is being phased out right now, but uh, there are still a few units available. And again, it's extremely useful for getting into angulated branches. The alternatives are the Supercross as well as the Sapit angulated microcatheter. But this was just the beginning of the problem. We then had a lot of difficulty delivering any equipment through the lesion. Eventually, we were able to advance a 1.0 millimeter sapphire balloon, and then we did kissing balloon inflation, but we were unable to advance anything else into the circumflex because of the combination of tortuosity and calcification, including a 2.5 millimeter uh, IVL catheter. So what to do? We decided to do rotational atherectomy. But we didn't want to give up our wire into the right coronary artery. So to avoid damaging this wire, we advanced a guide extension. And the liquid is uh, very useful because it has a large lumen. And then we were able to do rotational atherectomy using a 1.25 millimeter bear. We can see that it's uh, successfully going in and out the circumflex. Then we did some more balloon inflations. And this is an uh, intravascular ultrasound of the right coronary artery that uh, confirms the severe calcification. There may be even calcified nodule. And as we come more, come more proximal, uh, there is uh, an area of dissection with an extra plaque hematoma, likely because of the balloons. Again, heavy calcification. And uh, as we come again more proximal, there is severe circumferential calcification. So what to do next? We did more kissing balloon inflations, but uh, once again, we were unable to deliver any stents inside that circumflex. So we decided to treat the right coronary artery with stents, and we used several or zero drag eluting stents all the way from the distal to the proximal, but no stent would go into the circumflex. Instead, we did use a 2.5 by 30 millimeter agent drug coated balloon. And fortunately, we did get a nice result. We did have a TM3 flow into the circumflex, despite it being jailed with the stents. And again, we had a drug-coated balloon, which hopefully will decrease the risk of free stenosis. Multiple lessons from this case. The first one is that wiring through tortuosity can be challenging, and there are several solutions. One of them is to use an angulated microcatheter, the Venture in our case, which was successful in directing a Sion Black 
polymer jacketed wire into the anomalous circumflex. The second is that it's not only the wiring that is difficult, but also delivering any kind of equipment. And when a lesion is uncrossable with balloons or other equipment, then rotational atherectomy and orbital can provide the solution. In this case, uh, we did use uh, a guide extension to protect our right coronary artery wire, and then using that, we were able to do several passes of rotational therectomy into the anomalous circumflex. And then finally, we did use a drug-coated balloon into the anomalous circumflex since we were unable to deliver a stent, and despite the circumflex being jailed by a drug-looting stent, we were able to get a nice final result. Thank you.